curved space-time. How did Einstein's mind-bending idea fix a 228-year-old problem with Newton's gravity, but also predict black holes? Newton's gravity problem. Isaac Newton's groundbreaking theory of gravity explained the orbits of all the planets, apart from the closest planet, Mercury. Mercury's orbit shifted, or processed, slightly faster than Newton's theory predicted it should. It took 228 years for Einstein to fix the problem with his own theory of gravity, general relativity. He claimed the universe is made of a fabric called space-time. Things with mass, like stars, curve the space-time. Smaller objects, like planets, then move along the curved space-time, and this is what we know as gravity. Imagine a ball curving a sheet, causing a smaller ball to move around it. So how did the idea of curved space-time solve Mercury's strange orbit? Well, in Einstein's theory, spinning objects, like the Sun, drag space-time, like a bowling ball spinning in honey. Because Mercury is closest, it got dragged the most, causing its orbit to shift more than the other planets by exactly the amount that Einstein's equations predicted. So Einstein's idea fixed Newton's gravity. But hidden in his equations were some incredible predictions, including black holes. Here's how. In flat space with no gravity, light takes a straight path. But in curved space, light takes a curved path, bending around heavy objects like stars. Here's a photo of light bending around two galaxies. But in 1915, Carl Schwarzschild calculated what would happen if you compress the sun. As expected, space becomes more curved and light bends more. But if you keep compressing the sun until it's six kilometers across, space becomes so curved that not even light can escape. He had just predicted a black hole. And 50 years later, evidence began to prove that black holes actually existed. In 1963, a very bright star-like object called a quasar was seen, but it was too bright to be a star. It was actually a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy, eating up matter and vomiting out powerful jets of energy. Then in 2015, the LIGO gravity wave detector measured ripples in space-time from two colliding black holes. And in 2019, we finally took a picture of the black hole in the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. So that's how Einstein's idea fixed Newton's gravity and helped discover black holes. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more science content.